the stepper motors. Are you interested in them? You may be familiar with this type that they use in printers, or a larger type for positioning, or even this type here. Today I'm showing you how I'm driving this with the propeller chip that we see here. Let's see if we can get zoom in on that one. There we go. And the L6470 micro stepper chip. That's it. That little black thing right there. That's all there is to it. The only heat sinking is the copper on the board. And it's driving that motor there. Doesn't seem fair, does it? We've got this hooked up to this bit of equipment over here. And I'm up around the back of it at the moment, so I'm just going to tell this. I have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up here, hooked up to my fourth board on the propeller. I'm going to tell that to move 160 steps, so I have it pre programmed as TT, and I'll enter that and see if that. Okay, that seemed to go fast enough, and looks like it came back to the same mark again. Let's try that once more. TT. TT. Enter. And by the way, this is using prop forth. And here we go. Not bad. I'll just tell it to go. Shall we tell it to go? Eight turns. T U R N S. I can spell. Yes. Eight turns. That's it. Not bad. And all I'm telling that chip to do is go so many steps and it handles all the acceleration, everything. And current limiting, protection, the lot. I know I can do similar things with larger chips and heat sinks and all kinds of stuff. First time I've done it with a chip this size. Yeah, it's pretty good. Probably uh, configure those parameters a bit better to make it go faster again, but that seems like it's going fast enough for me. TT, here we go. What do you reckon? Pretty good?